Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. This video is basically what you need to know about the peekaboo and the various different sizes. I have a lot of the smaller sizes in different styles given that there is going to be a pretty significant price increase in a couple of days, somewhere in the vicinity of 12 to 20%. Now, whilst I don't work for Fendi, I'm not affiliated with Fendi, I am a big fan of Fendi, and I'm a big fan of the Fendi Peekaboo. The first bag that I opened my channel with was the Fendi Mini Peekaboo in the Celeria style. Now, this one is one of my absolute favorites. In fact, I'm going to be doing a made to order MT, which is MTO, if I refer to it again in this video, for the Fendi Celeria Peekaboo. The Celeria is the grain leather. It's hand finished with this stitching and it has kind of this external glazing. It's a little bit different to the Nappa leather mini peekaboos, which kind of are finished off with a rounded edge. And I'll insert a picture here so that you can see. These bags are not cheap bags. They are also not known for having fantastic resale at the moment. But here's why I think you should consider a peekaboo if you haven't already, in case you're wanting to beat this price increase. These bags are so, so versatile. Now, I'm gonna take you through my peekaboo collection. I have the mini size, which is in the Celeria. This is a more expensive style of bag than the Nappa leather or the seasonal calf leather peekaboos as a standard option. That's not including any exotic kind of styles. Then in the ICU range, we'll go from smallest to biggest. I have the Fendi Nano in the current collection, so Cruise 23, beautiful purple color. I have the Fendi Peekaboo ICU Petite, and this one is in the gorgeous acid green, similar current season, so here's the difference between these two sizes. And I have the ICU in the small size. So again, much bigger bag than this petite, but also if you compare it to the mini, again, a bigger bag than the mini, um, even though it's a small. Now, I also wanna show you the size comparison between the petite ICU and the mini Celeria. Again, quite a big difference. To me, the Goldilocks style the bag that is the perfect size is this one. Now, I've done a bunch of videos showcasing the Peekaboo bag, and this bag was designed back in 2009, I believe, by Sylvia Venturini Fendi. Um, and it's called the Peekaboo, if you didn't already know, because you can, what's well, designed to kind of open up and slouch in the bigger models anyway. The smaller ones, they're obviously more structured, so that's not going to happen. They can be absolutely customized and I'll show you some strap options and ways that I customize my bags, but here's what you need to know in terms of essentials. The way that you can carry this bag, you just saw me open up these sangles on the side, so you can carry it open. You can carry it by the top handle. You also have a very adjustable strap. In fact, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 adjustments on this strap. So that basically gives you the option to wear this crossbody or on the shoulder or top handle. Um, you can do a bunch of things. We can wear it on the crook of your arm if you like. So you have all of those options. And because the strap is detachable, it means that you don't have to worry about tucking it into the bag. These bags pretty much fit anything you want. They all come with their very own raincoat, which is great if you've got an all leather bag. Now, inside of these bags, as I said, I've done many reviews. I can fit all of my essentials in my Peekaboo Mini. Um, it does, like, they do get a little bit, um, what might you call it? They can wear if you load them up and you want them to wear. Um, some of the minis on the resale market don't look that good because they've been smashed about. I have a lot of bags in my collection and so I tend to rotate them a lot, which means that I can care for my bags better. But on me as a, you know, curvy kind of person, 
I'm an Australian size 14, 216 sometimes. I'm 5'5", five five, 166 centimetres tall. I can wear this bag crossbody and the proportions of it look, I think, great winter or summer so I do have a lot of photos on my Instagram that I'm going to show you rather than um, me hopping up and showing you now I'm just thinking about keeping this video nice and short and concise to help you get the information you need quickly this would be this kind of style so far it's my top pick for an all-rounder something that fits everything if you get it in the right color mine is in like an ivory but if you get it in the right color, this is a great day to night option as well, just because of the ways that you can wear it. If you want to do it up and make it look more put together, and again, this is all based on personal preference, and it's obviously not my personal preference to wear it in this particular way, but you can close it up, close the turn locks, and then you get this very, very proper looking chic sophisticated bag um, and I think this is where the peekaboo really shines because you can kind of change the bag's personality based on what you need it to deliver in terms of your outfit and it's another great reason why to me the peekaboo is really very very versatile compared to other bags by Fendi. If you want to um, have a look at the current price in your area and add 12 to 20 percent on top of that you'll see why I think it's important to consider this bag before the price increases. I'll link the other videos that I've done featuring these bags so if there's one that you're particularly interested in you can actually go and have a good look at that one. The other thing about the mini peekaboo particularly, but all peekaboos, is your opportunity to customize them. Now, I recently got this water snake strap with my Fendi re-edition baguette. It has a silver hardware on it. I can quite easily put that strap onto this mini peekaboo and totally change the attitude of it. So let me just do that for you quickly so that you can see so here we go, now I've got a bit of snake on my peekaboo and to be able to wear this and change the look of the bag is a really great option and I've actually done it with my um, ICU small which I'll pop an Instagram picture in here as well just so that you can see. Fendi also do a version of a aftermarket strap called the Strap U and these straps um, traditionally are a wider strap but there is a kind of more narrow strap that's available now and if you want to add a little bit of personal flair to your peekaboo you can also use these straps and they tend to have gold hardware very rarely do they have silver hardware you'll often find the celeria peekaboos are only available in the palladium or silver hardware so it doesn't really matter though unless you're really really um picky about things matching the point is that you personalize them they're meant to be a reflection of you and your personality so the next peekaboo that I added to my collection um, was actually a double um, so it was this one in the black I've since sold it I've sold it because with two neutrals the black and the white I was really just reaching for the white a lot of the time I also have other black bags that I would use for evening that I think are more reflective of my personal style and something had to go. So it was my black Celeria mini peekaboo. This one was the next one to join my collection. It is the Violetta. I've just noticed a little bit of a mark on it. Um, do I have another mark? Oh, there is another little mark on there too. I've seen that. I didn't notice those before, um, but I have to say it it's like exciting to me that this bag is starting to be mine and I know that's not normal for everyone. Um, this is a small size and it's much bigger as I said before than the mini size in the typical iconic peekaboo. So the ICU is a relatively new style of peekaboo. It's been around for a couple of years now. Um, I got this one because A, the colour way did not come in the mini celeria B I really wanted if you've watched my channel at all you'll know that I want this effect to happen I want this smiley effect to happen um, 
it is in a nappa leather so it is a little bit more delicate um, this one also has a very adjustable strap one two three four five six seven adjustments on this strap and because it's a larger style bag I would not tend to wear this crossbody because it is bigger I'd wear it on the shoulder but generally I wear it top handle um, and I'll pop some pictures in here of me wearing it that way this bag will fit everything you want I've actually worn it for an evening out I think it works I think it's probably the maximum kind of size that you would want to take out with you like a day to night piece um, it doesn't get in the way it's quite beautiful to wear handheld or on the crook of your arm I wore it to my Fendi event I think if you like the ICU style and you like a bag that's going to fit everything where you don't have to compromise on taking your reading glasses or your sunglasses and those sorts of things this is a great option compared to the next size down in the ICU which is the petite this one won't fit everything this one fits everything but it's a lot smaller you wouldn't fill this to the brim um, so I do think if you're somebody who likes to carry a bit more than just the minimum the small peekaboo ICU is a great option for you. The next one that I added to my collection was the Nano, and that's because I have Nano Baguettes, I have a Nano Fendi First, and I wanted to have a Nano Peekaboo. Um, in my unboxing video, I explain what fits in here. Again, a beautiful little top handled bag. So if you're wanting just a pop of the Peekaboo, this is a really cute option. One side has a snap lock, the other side has a working turn lock, so you can in fact do it up and have it sitting all beautifully put together and pristine. This one has five adjustments on its removable crossbody strap and it does crossbody on me nicely with my measurements as well. Um, I quite like this one as a little hand carry in terms of it just being a real pop and accentuating your outfit. I've also paired it with my baguette strap from this season as well which I will show you and it gives it like a really cool edgy vibe because it is so oversized for the bag it's actually pretty cool. So um, the Nano is obviously quite a novel um, option to have but I think actually going to be quite practical, especially if you have a pocket to pop your phone in or you're quite happy carrying your phone in your hand. Now, my most recent peekaboo is the petite size. This is the petite ICU and it fits a lot more than you think. Again, I'll refer to the unboxing video, which I did as a live just yesterday, actually. So I will link that video as well. Um, this one is like quite surprising in terms of how much it carries however you're not going to be able to close it up if you put too much in because of how it is shaped at the top it also has a removable crossbody strap and it has one two three four five six seven adjustments which i can do crossbody and i make a point of saying i can do crossbody because a lot of bags from other brands don't really crossbody across a curvier figure. Crossbody on the shoulder, top handle. Another way that you can customize these bags, which is one of the things that I really wanted to do with this particular style, is to do a tonal look with a nano baguette. And you can see that here. So this is a little nano baguette from the current season as well. Um, so you can really kind of personalize these bags. This one fits everything that I need, except um, it won't close necessarily. So it will kind of stay open and be more of kind of an open tote. If I take out sunglasses and I take out my AirPod Pros, then I can close it up. One of the things that I really love about the petite size and particularly in this pop of color is I love the fact that you can wear it very casually and in a very fun, playful way. But this is a beautiful bag to take out for an evening now because it's such a classic style when you look at it like this but the color is so unexpected i think it will bring an unexpected element of surprise a beautiful pop and playfulness to an otherwise 
very sophisticated, perhaps a little bit bland evening outfit. Um, because it's such a kind of neutral, even though it is lime green, greens tend to fall more in the neutral space. Um, and so I think that the versatility of this piece is going to be something I really enjoy in my wardrobe. So if it were me and I were buying my first peekaboo um, and I have not got confirmation on whether all peekaboos are going up or just a particular type, but if I was looking to buy my first peekaboo and I was sitting on the fence, I still stand by this one as a great everyday option that goes from day to night. Um, and you just need to find the color that works for you. They're more and more difficult to find, unfortunately. And so my next bet would be the small peekaboo. And that's because it has all of the kind of signature of the Fendi peekaboo in a, the smaller size. This is the smallest size, I think, that would have the smile, the actual peekaboo feature because of the structure of the smaller styles even though this is a small um they just won't ever do this if that's not something that you want then try the petite and you're used to small bags the petite is a really great option um, and I was really surprised at the fact that it fit my iPhone 13 Pro and if you don't believe me here it is and I'll just slide that straight in to the bag so it's really good to kind of know that your phone is going to fit in a mini bag, definitely. And then finally, obviously, you just want a little taste of the peekaboo. You want to have a little play, then maybe the nano is for you. I think, like I don't usually do these kind of videos, but given that I have quite a few peekaboos in my collection, I thought it was important to share with you my thoughts. And if you're on the edge and you're not quite sure and you needed a little bit of help, um, hopefully this video has helped you decide. I think it's a really versatile modern classic. I think it's great quality. I think the value that you get is fantastic. Um, I just had my peekaboo spared um, by Fendi as a complimentary service. They come with raincoats. You can customize them with the different strap options. And once you get a collection, then you can start putting all the interchangeable straps on everything and really creating your own bag with its own personality. So yeah, if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments below. So then I can answer them and everybody can see them. But um, if you're considering a peekaboo, tell me which one and you know whether or not this information is going to help you. And if you're not and you've got some questions, as I said, please ask them in the comments box. Otherwise, um, happy shopping and I look forward to hearing all about what you picked up. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, sometimes some extra. So please come back and join me for more. Until then, ciao.